Hey, welcome to Dapper Lighting. Let's talk about how to check voltage levels of your headlight plug. There may be a number of reasons why you'd want to check voltage of your headlight plug. You could be having extremely dim lights, a bad ground connection, or one light works but the other doesn't. Maybe you have low beams but no high beams. One common issue that comes up with older cars, and in turn, older wiring, is that the connections become corroded over time. This can happen in switches or at junctions. To test and make sure you're getting proper voltage at your headlights, you will need a multimeter, which we have right here. And in testing scenarios, we'll need to have the battery hooked up, so please take all the necessary precautions. If you aren't familiar with electrical wiring or using a multimeter, please consult a professional. Today, we are going to do a bench test, which is outside of the car on our bench, uh, just because it makes it easier for us to show the components and process involved, although it's really a simple test. First, you will wanna test the voltage of the battery. Connect the black negative lead of the multimeter to a good ground on the frame, on the chassis, or on the negative battery terminal itself. Set the multimeter on DC voltage for the scale of 20 volts, and then connect the red positive lead to the positive post on the battery. Ideally, a conventional battery should have a voltage of about 12.6 volts when the car is off. Anything below 12 volts indicates a low charge or dying battery, and you'll want to address that first. As a side note, you can repeat this test, but with the car running to get an idea of the voltage being put out from the alternator. Doing that will confirm that the charging system is functioning properly. When running, you'll usually see voltages in the 13 to 15 range. And if voltage doesn't increase from when the car was off, then you may be looking at a charging system issue. We won't be covering that topic in this video, but there is lots of helpful information that's already out there for those scenarios. So now that we've verified battery voltage, we are going to check the voltages at the H4 headlight plug. So we'll go ahead and unplug the H4 plug from the back of the headlight. Let's put that over there. The H4 plug is what came standard on almost all US spec cars with sealed beam lights. But the principles of testing the plug will be similar on modern cars as well. You will just need to verify which wires are low beam power, high beam power, and ground. Doing this test will help you identify which is which if you don't already know. But for the H4 style plug on two headlight cars, it's simply a three wire input of low beam, high beam, and ground. So now that the H4 plug is disconnected from the headlight, we're gonna go ahead and again connect the black lead of the multimeter to a good known ground on the frame or the negative battery terminal itself. Multimeter stays on the same voltage scale for 20 volts. Turn on the headlights and select the low beam with the dimmer switch. Go ahead and insert the prong of the multimeter into the terminals on the H4 plug. So our ground is connected to chassis ground or the battery. Now. We'll take our H4 plug. So we've inserted the probe. We wanna make sure that we get good contact with the actual metal of the terminal itself. Again, only low beams are on, so only one terminal should be reading any voltage. Ideally, it's around 12.6 volts. The closer to the battery voltage that you just tested, the better. If you're seeing a big drop from the voltage number you had at the battery, which is sometimes referred to as voltage drop, then you may be dealing with a bad switch connection or corrosion at a junction point in the circuit. This issue can certainly be one cause of dim headlights. Sometimes just one volt or two volts with halogen lights will make a big difference and it will likely require further inspection of the headlight circuit. So now we'll be moving on to the high beam terminal. You'll select the high beam with the dimmer switch and the voltage at the low beam connection you just tested should now be zero volts and at the high beam connection, it should ideally be the same or close to your battery voltage. Any big drop, again, is an indicator that further inspection of the circuit is needed. If you test both low and high beams and the voltage numbers at each of these terminals are good, you'll wanna check the ground next. Put the black lead into the negative terminal and repeat the test with both low beams and then with high beams. You should get the same numbers as you did with the other ground location. If you don't, then it's a good indicator that the ground on the headlight circuit is bad. You have now tested all the connections on the H4 plug. You can repeat this process on the other headlights 
on the vehicle if necessary. There are occasions where a vehicle has a ground controlled headlight. In that case, the test procedure would be different and you'd wanna be checking for completed circuits. It's a good idea to identify if your car has standard wiring like this beforehand, just so you have an idea what to look for and you're not doing a redundant test. The technique in this video won't work for a ground switched circuit. We'll have a video on that hopefully soon. This test will help you identify voltages, but if you have other questions, be sure to check out our other videos for more tech tips. For any other questions, reach out to us via email at support at dapperlighting.com or give us a call at 833-DAPPER1.